Hello, welcome to my fishing channel. I don't know if you can see that. There's a big fish in there. Holy shit. I don't have my rod with me, nothing here. And I left, oh my gosh, she's big. I'll, I'll try to go up higher so you can see it. I say I might spook him if I come too close. I don't want to spook it. It would be good if she swam in there and I'd catch him straight away. I'd jump on top of the fish. I don't know, today's a very calm day. Nothing amazing. Nothing that I'd be happy about catching at all. This is this is called tongue weed. I'll uh, if I find it, if I find a uh, root, I I'd be able to show you differently. They start off with a little. Um, they start off with a little circle like this big, maybe small one, and it gr and it starts growing out of it. So. Oh my, oh my boots are soaked. Yeah, water went in, even though I have pants on. Water went into my boot. You would see the, there is a lot of uh, molted um, spider crabs on the beach. A lot of them. But it's just, I came too late today. What a shame. Came a bit late today. My little foraging bucket. Just in case I do catch a spider crab or a lobster. Be nice to have them. This is what I meant about the carpet, the green. Oh this is this this it grows when the when it's when it's uh, summer it grows and it fills up every single piece of the every piece of the beach or the sandy parts of the beaches but anyway i'd like to say one thing and that's the main part if you don't know how to swim and you're doing foraging and if you're going down to the deep deeper waters please wear a life jacket this will only take about a couple of seconds for you to throw on that life jacket that life jacket might change your life within a couple of seconds it happened to me once that I went foraging and uh, I tripped and fell and I hit my head off the cliff but, but uh, it was good that I didn't um, get knocked out I was just, I got back up straight away, but otherwise, it was very sore. So just please, if you're ever going foraging or, or anything to do with water, wear a life jacket if you can't swim. Even I can swim and it's still a bit scary when you actually do come up to a closed off area. I know it's very quiet today. Haven't seen anything good today. Yeah, I'll try to get on to the other side. I'll take you to the spot where I where I found my um where I found that big lobster there like uh, almost three weeks ago. Just didn't have my phone on me to record it. So hopefully there's something there today. I'd be good if I could catch something to show you guys. But not every day is a good day. I can say that. Yeah, it's strange. Nothing.
when you're looking for lobsters and crabs basically you're just looking for big holes in the in like these you know but um yeah i'll show you that spot up there in a second it's a nice good spot yes we're here I'll show, I'll show you this little spot here it's a good spot very good spot one of the best spots but uh, yeah I'll show you so start off with the little one yeah so this is what it's meant to look like if you're going foraging looking for lobsters and crabs and whatever so where are the holes yeah I'll show you there's one here so oh Jesus Sometimes you you we can think that it's seaweed that you're standing on. Once you stand on it, then it's gone. It's not. First hole. Oh, what a beautiful strawberry anemone. I don't know if you can see that. That's called a strawberry anemone. Beautiful thing. With a UV light, it turns green. Second hole. Is there anything in there? I'll have a look. Let me pause it and have a look. You could see that the sand has been dug out. It's just there's nothing there. I know I, I, I came too late. It's always good to come like half an hour, hour earlier. Just to get your hand to get there quicker. Because the crabs actually, ugh, the crabs leave when the water goes down. Is there anything in there? Oh, small little crabs in there, nothing, nothing to bolt about. Oh, Jesus. Look at this. Wait, where is it? Crazy thing. There's two stuck on each other. It's weird. Is there any crabs in there? No. I don't want to fall into the hole. The water's so deep in here that it's unreal. Can't get into that big hole. A strawberry in enemy here. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. It's hanging. Yeah, it's weird. It's strange. Oh, Jesus. Very dangerous to do this, but when you do catch one, it's one amazing feeling. Like little holes like this, you know, people might think that there's nothing in there, but you, you never know, you might come up to a big lobster and just crazy. One thing I have to say, with, with crabs, it's different. Crabs are different compared to lobsters. Lobsters, they can, once they see you, they're gone. No matter what, they just leave straight away like these little pools here this is where you would usually find spider crabs and lobsters stuck because they didn't make it on time out to get out of the the holes before the water struck them but what a beautiful space this is beautiful like unreal Nice spot. Be good if I could catch and cook up something straight away. Catch and cook, baby. Catch and cook. Be lovely to catch a little lobster or something just to show you guys, you know. I know I haven't caught nothing in the past three days and that's due to... It's not low tide yet. Like, it is low tide, but not... The tide goes lower every... Every two weeks, the... the tide goes very low and it's just it's not gone down very much and all all the lobsters are down in the holes over far there where the water's full so yeah i'll try uh catch up on a new spot there i'll take you there now so found a little, little hole here so let me just get to it you know Lobsters and crabs have one big enemy and the biggest enemy are not people It's actually octopus 
and fish. See something moving, but I say it wasn't a fish or a little crab. Usually you'd see them straight away. No, I'm not in this hole. Oh, what a shame. You could be out here for hours and I catch a single thing, you know? But yeah. Octopus are one of the main enemies of a lobster and a crab. Not humans. No. It's just to balls to find them. That's that's the one thing. You have to go into gullies and, which I'm not going into gullies because I have bad experiences going going into gullies. You know, they're like big holes with a lot of water in them. I've heard a few people say, no, Dushan, you we should try go there and uh, and try and take out a few lobsters from the holes there. And I'm like, yeah, I'll try that. Went in there, by and I was half to my waist. And it's not the fact that you're there half the waist. It's just 